are at our delivery. We already dropped our loaded trailer. So now we're pre-tripping for I've already inspected the trailer while he was standing there waiting for that reefer to come on. So by the time he inspected the trailer, I'm sitting there waiting on him to back the truck up to the trailer. Uh, multitasking, especially when you're on my truck, is a big deal. Instead of waiting five minutes for the reefer to kick on, walk around the trailer and do the pre trip At least if it doesn't work, all you have to do is Go find another one. At least you creep walk around the trailer. So, yeah. Uh, he's about to back up under it. If whenever he gets straight to it. Free trip is key. Uh, you want to make sure lights, airlines, tires, all that stuff is uh, good to go. There's a lot more stuff you gotta check. I'm not gonna get into detail with that right now. Uh, so, just waiting on him to figure out on um, backing up. And these are called super singles because they're just one tire instead of duals to where you'll see two. Which I don't really care for the super singles, but I guess they'll work. But one thing, I bet you he didn't catch that though. There's no license plate on it. And in reality, yeah, you can get pulled over for that. But, yeah. We'll get a piece of paper or something. Make sure that you check that your fifth wheel. Make sure it's locked. Walk around, check the lights. You want to kick the chute just in case it might fall off. Lights. So he probably has one blinker on instead of the four ways on. So, we'll check that out. Um. Nope. Four ways are on. It's that pigtail. I might have to get a swap out. trailer to where all I needed was license plate which we could have wrote on a piece of paper and put back there to now we got a trailer without a shoe I could have picked up I could have still drove the trailer without a license plate and been okay with it and picked up the load and got back down here but the whole time of me driving up there and driving back would be he's gonna be in the passenger seat I've already walked around it did the free trip and everything Still waiting on him. We are here at Twin Falls. We are getting the trailer washed out. As you can see, we're in line. Uh, 
getting the trailer washed out. He has 46 minutes on his clock to drive. We are approximately about 10 miles away. Yeah. 10 miles away from our pickup. Um, we would be at our pickup if I brought the other trailer that just needed a license plate because it was clean and everything. But my student, for some reason, he has stuff on his head to where everything that's fixable, but like the re okay, not fixable, but like the license plate scenario, we're able to sit there and write on a piece of paper or cardboard and tape it to where the license plate goes, as long as the license plate number and state is on there. Because of course they fall off and everything else. Well, he wasn't gonna drive with that trailer, and kind of upset me because in reality, this is type of stuff you're gonna have to deal with. Um, you're gonna have to write it down, put it on there, or whatever, because it's not like the company's gonna sit there and um, FedEx the damn license plate to you. It doesn't work that way. And DOT knows this and everything else. And I told him that's if the load was already loaded, most companies will not take the product off that trailer and load it to another one. So uh, I had to drive 10 miles. The 10 miles that I drove to get to the truck wash is the 10 miles that we would have drove just to get to our pickup. But it looks like we're about to get going. But it's not a big deal. But in reality, there's some stuff you're going to have to work with and deal with. And I told him this. But right now, it's more of him trying to do it the way he wants to. Instead of listening to me. Which, if it keeps acting up like that, he's not going to be getting on He's not going to stay on the truck. So. Um, I don't see how the hell he sits like this. But. Uh, yeah. So. I'm going to go ahead and. Go inside and get the. Trailer washed out because we got a contract with them so we don't have to pay we just get them load information trailer number truck number and then yeah right now we're getting the trailer washed out um my student is of course using the bathroom um so this is the process that he's not gonna know until we get to another trailer washout at the blue beacon um, right now we're once we get washed out I'm gonna get fuel for the truck then I'm gonna we're gonna go ahead and see if we could pick up our load tonight get loaded um, they gave us a window from tonight till tomorrow afternoon that doesn't mean the place is gonna be open 24 hours to load us 24 hours um, but yeah um, wasn't trying to sound like an ass when it came to that license plate because I told him straight up is like he doesn't want to um, it's not like he doesn't want to listen to me but he basically is not trusting me so in reality I'm not gonna do something that <clears throat> is gonna make get his license points or whatnot because then that looks bad on me and now I don't want license I don't want points on my license neither. So with that saying, if you come out here and you think you know more than the mentor, when it comes to his job and he's the one training you, it's not a good thing when you're stepping on toes acting like you know everything when you really don't, especially with the company that you're with. Now, if you got a mentor that doesn't know anything or not doesn't know anything but doesn't want to 
train you or teach you or explain stuff to you or really doesn't know anything because he probably would be driving for if six months um then you might want to say something here and there but other than that thank you